Uh, this is uh, the latest. I tried to get an account a couple of hours ago, but it was too busy. I guess lots of people are trying to get accounts on DeepSeek. So will DeepSeek take over? Will it be better than ChatGPT? I don't know about that. Let's see what DeepSeek can do. All right, so um, let's start now. I already have an account, finally got one. Took a while, but okay. I understand. Uh, do you have a phone app is what I asked. And apparently uh, no is the answer. Notice you can search on the internet, which ChatGPT can do as well. So, okay, so how much better is this? Let's give it a ride and see where it takes us. All right, so here's a question that I asked ChatGPT and I got really nice answers with S. CSS and lots of other HTML options to add to the uh, additional headings, HTML, and to the theme in the advanced uh, area. So let's see what I get here. All right, so here it goes. Let's see if I can get codes or anything like that. Okay, that's correct. They do not natively support that. It, oh, but this looks lovely. Oh my gosh. Instead, they support formats like MP4. That's right. That's all correct information. And it's true. You can add handbrake and you definitely need FFmpeg on your server to be able to do this. But even if they do it, they are able to do it. Uh, it's problematic when you're trying to share the link uh, in another Moodle site or in another course. So let me, okay, but this is great. So educate users, great suggestion. So let me continue with the conversation here. I noticed that there's no um, audio here. I can't uh, speak. I guess that'll come very soon. Right now, I really need it. Notice the layout. It does look like ChatGPT in many ways. Okay, so, uh, okay, that's interesting in itself. And I can see my chats here. That's nice. I can go back to them. I wonder if, uh, okay, sharing here, I can copy. I can regenerate. All right, so, uh, and of course, you can use the internet. All right, so let's continue with the chat. Okay, so here goes. Um, I'm having problems. Uh, notice here. Uh, with WEBM, when the course uh, where it was originated has guest pass, and uh, you can actually uh, paste the WBM links in your browser window, and you'll be able to access them through your iPhone and iPads, but not through the course itself. So let's see what I get here. Okay, now ChatGPT has not been able to figure this out and no one else has either. So let's see. Okay, it has the same permission. Both have the same permission since I own both of them. Okay, so this is the only thing that I'm concerned about. The other one should have um, guest access as well. So I wonder if that would make a difference since uh, you can uh, enroll in the course. So that shouldn't make a difference. But anyways, I got more information than I got in ChatGPT. And the information seems to be very, very relevant. With ChatGPT, I got a lot of, uh, you know, going around and around over the same things. Plus, they described everything they did. If they provided me with a code, they explained the code. They over explain things. And this seems to um, only get to the point. File storage, which is very, very important. That was never mentioned by ChatGPT. Um, and, and it goes specifically into the Moodle site, exactly where I need to go. With ChatGPT, it kind of tells you all about it, but it doesn't really go into specifics and how to access it. So you need to ask more and more questions to uh, be able to get exactly what you want. But in this case, it really goes right into, um, okay, there are no four, three or four, four. That is not a problem. All right, third party plugins, test with MP as a fallback. All right, this is really interesting. I'm gonna ask for a code right now for an SCSS. So here goes, I'm asking for further information. Notice uh, text extraction only, upload docs or images. 
Okay, and you're limited in size here, but that's nice to know. That is very, very good. All right, uh, right now it's really going super fast. I mean, just as fast as ChatGPT, actually. Uh, notice the coats. I like the way they appear with the black uh, background. That is really, really, it runs a lot better. Uh, it also has run HTML rather than the um, notice here run. If I go into run, I see there's nothing running here. Um, okay, but uh, maybe that's a way of using it. But not right now. I guess it's not connected to anything. This will display a message if the browser doesn't support the video tag. Okay, so this is something that I can add to um, HTML in the theme settings or in the custom section. Okay, here I see that they're not really sure uh, where this appears. It says, um, in the move, it can improve or display additionally in your, however, it's important to note that it cannot directly solve capability issues. Now, this information is great. They're giving me uh, why this might not work, and this is not not the best way to go. With ChatGPT, it'll give me whatever I want, and it's not going to work. <laughs> I asked ChatGPT for solutions. It gave me a lot of solutions. I tried them out, and, uh, you know, they didn't do anything. So if you keep asking, it'll just give you what you want, even if, uh, well, it's not going to bother to tell you that it's not really going to work. But here it explains why it might not work. It might just enhance the video playback experience and I can try this out and see if it works. There's also style for the video player which I could add but I already have something so I don't need that. Now here is, this is interesting, force iOS devices to use. Now that is something worth testing and I am going to try this out and I'll share this with you in the um, description of this video just to let you know whether it worked or not. Um, I can see that what I'm getting here is um, video embedding. Well, I don't really need that. But I see that I'm getting a lot of wonderful information with debugging. Yeah, it looks amazing. I just need the uh, conversation that I have on ChatGPT, which I don't have here on my phone. But it seems to be, um, yeah, it's it's pretty good. Okay, I don't have any ChatGPTs here, uh, but um, that's how you add a new chat. Looks really nice. Try it. Let me know what you think. It's DeepSeek, chatdeepseek.com. Thank you for watching. Questions are always welcome.